Welcome back to Asura's Wrath. Uh, what we have here is uh, one of the DLC episodes. You oh, see, when shoot. Asura's Wrath was released, there were uh, two lost episodes and uh, two little mid uh, episodes that take place in between different episodes. They were both done by Studio 4C, the guys who did Persona 4, the animation. Ooh. One of them is radically different than the other, and uh, we'll start with, the, I believe, the lesser of the two. It's just an anime cutscene, no gameplay, it's just a whole bunch of quick time events, but, uh, see, you guys have the, have the courtesy of just watching this. I have to watch for the button prompts, and that's hard. <laughs> oh, boo-hoo, but, oh my gosh, this looks cool. I don't like how they drew Asura, though. They did a really weird job on him. I, I saw, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He looks like he's made of cheese. I was, yeah, I was just thinking either cheese or he is like, he is a clay man. So yeah, them big guys. Holy crap, that's a lot of goma. Yep, a lot of big guys. Um, I found in a uh, continuity error, the sword is complete. Here's another continuity error. He's red now. So let's get to cutting things up then. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Holy shit. Okay, that, that looks a little silly. I know the kind of style they're going for, but uh, just for this, it looks kind of silly. Yeah, they're going for like a looser, more uh, chaotic style because, well, mm -hmm. what's going on is... To be honest, pretty damn chaotic. Right, right. Like it's, it's supposed to be nauseating, it's supposed to be like confusing and hard to see. And Nasara just continues to look weird. <laughs> it looks like the, something out of the Animatrix. Oh, yeah, right? Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. See, I spent like... 15 minutes before the, the, this episode started trying to figure out who actually made this, and I, I couldn't believe it was Studio 4C. Hmm. Like, it just, it just, it just looks completely different from what they normally do, but, you know, maybe that's why it's like this. I, I guess it might just be a, a directorial thing, because the director can change an entire uh, you know, outlook of what an episode can look like, so it's possible the director had a vision, and uh, I will say this is pretty awesome regardless. I mean, it just looks a little funny. Yeah, until you get your ass kicked. Well, I mean, you missed a button prompt, right? No, it's, <laughs> this, is, this is what happens. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. If you miss a button prompt too many times, it just kind of fades a little bit, and then you restart earlier. Kind of takes you out of the action, quite frankly. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. And self-destruct explosion! Oh no! Ooh! Ow! The oh. <laughs> Stop! You see, this gives Asura some weakness. Ever. So he thinks of Yasha. Oh, he's not doing good at all. He's got some skin hanging off of his eye there. It's just, eh, he, he, Getting his ass kicked. Oh, yeah, he is. And thinks of his wife. That doesn't help matter as much either. Oh, I finally get it. Every time he gets beaten down, he still gets up. That's true strength. Strength of love! Oh my god, Asura, you're the greatest hero ever because you keep getting up! Yeah. Uh, looks like it just ate him. Yeah. Oh, losing teeth? Ow. I didn't think that was a thing that could happen. <laughs> Maybe this is why it looks so floaty. You know, this kind of actually reminds me of Paranoia Agent, too, because some of those episodes got abnormally trippy.
Oh, and Mithra, of course. Yeah, right, right. And this is, should be the thing that powers him up. No, he's just gonna keep getting up. All right. That's kind of neat, though. Yeah, it's skin hanging off of his eye, you gross. Don't make her cry anymore. Yeah, that's what we need, a big gigantic firearm. Oh, wow. Oh, I didn't think he had it in him. I, I didn't need her. Oh. Nope, sorry, commercial. Still gotta get that. Can't be an official Osiris Wrath. Oh, ah! <laughs> yes. Now he's turning into Amaterasu. <laughs> we just need a giant paintbrush. And three years to finish this. <laughs> Use the celestial brush, Asura. Beat the game in less than three years. Use the infinity symbol, it'll be an inferno. <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's some damage. That's still effective, I'd say. Jesus! Uh, now he's got Guile's haircut. Like, Nasser is just constantly inconsistent. Ironically, throughout this whole thing. Sonic Boom! It's like, draw him off model. I don't think he was ever on model. <laughs> Maybe this is just... Was there even a model to begin with? It's just the chaos of the Goma. See, this is what happens when you get within close proximity. We never get to see it because Asura's moving so damn fast, but it's kind of like a, you know, they slowed it down for us plebes. They always frame by twos, which just looks kind of not good. <laughs> oh my god, the hand of God! I make it rain. I make it rain on them hoes. Sheesh! <laughs> he just on his, looks over to his arm. I was just thinking that. <laughs> that is one hell uh -huh. of a lighter that you have for a right arm, Asura. Boy, Lumiere, your brother's cool. <laughs> ah, wee oui, wee, oui, thank you. <laughs> and boop. Got your nose. Yep, here. Ow, stop. Ah, uh, uh, no bite, no bite. Ah, see, told you, no bite. Oh, here we go! Boom! Whoa! Jeez! <laughs> well, uh, I think it might be effectively killed. Wow! You done did it, Asura, good job! There's still an entire battalion after you, but you did it! Have molten lava pouring out of your arm. What? Whoa! Or have a giant firearm just going absolutely ballistic. That turns into lightning. Okay, that's awesome. Fire lightning, man. Oh my god, is this the power of wrath? Uh, like, is this just is this just liquid rage coming out of his right arm? You know how we have unlimited overdrive mode and all that? Yeah. This is kind of giving in to that. <laughs> uh, the unfortunate side effect is absolute obliteration of the host, so yeah. So that was the explosion that she saw. Ah, from, okay. From episode 11, the one we saw in her eyes. Now we're back here with Tadeus and uh, this is Yasha or no, Olga. Complicate my plans for this. But it's the weirdest animation style, especially this final scene. Hmm. Right here, this last shot of Deus. Hmm. It could prove useful. Okay. 
way too close and it couldn't even focus on his eyes. Uh, maybe but. this was just like Cool World or something like that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, but that was a, that was episode 11.5. $2, please, thank you. That was $2. That was $2. Oy vey. Well, uh, that was, that was a trip. We got to yep. see a different animation style, at least. Uh, saw some cool stuff, at least, you know. I wonder... Uh, I wonder if this was supposed to be, like, the break chapter, and they just decided to add quick time events to it. Hey, studio break, huh? Yeah, because that feels drastically out of place. Yeah, I, I think that maybe they went a little bit crazier with this scene, because if this really is Studio 4C, then it's wildly di more different than anything they've done that I know of. Well, think of it this way. What if they wanted to capitalize on Asura's Wrath just as it came out? You know, it's a brand new IP. It's Not a lot of people are going to go for it. We need to make DLC as quick as we can, and we don't want to animate new fight scenes in the regular style. Let's just have people animate it. That's what I'm thinking it is. It looks like, you know, a, a little bit of a side project, you know, a bit of a farewell. So l let's all animate, like, two seconds of this one scene and put it all together and make ourselves a, a neat little uh, bit of DLC for the people. And we can have our real artists and uh, do the real good things for the next DLC episode. When's that coming? <laughs> well, look it up yourself or I'm not telling. Holy shit, Bones. I didn't think they were a part of this. I saw Production IG in there, too, so it's like... Jesus Christ, everyone, everybody worked on this. Everyone came together and vomited on a canvas. <laughs> okay, sure. Maybe you weren't too far off with everybody picks, uh, picks like, one minute, animate that, and then throw it all together in a giant collage. It's far too chaotic. Far too varied for it to be something that was rigidly put together and storyboarded. But thanks, Capcom. Thanks for the present. Yay. Have better, have better DLC practices, will you? Okay, thanks. That's why we haven't got an Osiris Wrath Complete Edition yet. But! Nice. A nice S rank for the hard mode, at least, so that's good. And uh, do you think we even have illustrations at the end for this bit of DLC? Hmm. But of course we do! Ooh! Hirotada Okabe. Wait, demi Demigod A and Demigod B? So yeah, just demigods hanging around in Shinkoku. Just, you know, I was other... Just, yeah, I was just thinking some random assholes just going, Whoa, did you hear about this? Gossiping assholes, you know, we're out here in the city and we can hear just these three people talking. Yeah, exactly. They're talking really loud. Well, here they're talking about mantra affinities. Pride, lust, greed, sloth, vanity, violence, melancholy, and of course, wrath. Can you guess which one has which? Hmm, I think I can hazard, I guess. I think Yasha's melancholy, August is pride, we've got wrath, Olga is lust. Maybe, or, no. See, I, I was thinking August was violence. Maybe that's Deus. Maybe that's... Oh, no. Vajra was... I, I don't know. Fucking whatever. <laughs> yeah. De yeah De Deus is pride. Yes, that, that makes a lot more sense. Have you forgotten what all of them were? You mean but, you don't know the yeah. mantras by heart? No, I don't, because that dumps you right back to title screen. Oh. Well... So, yeah, next time on Osiris Wrath, we're continuing the story. Fabulous. For real. Yes. Oh, no.